Hello, my name is Frederick Chambers. I'm the grandfather of um, Eric Justin Hall. Uh, I viewed the video on um, Robert Kennedy's um, speech that he made to those individuals that was in Indianapolis on uh, April 4th, 1968. This was the exact date that uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. At that due point, I was about 14 years of age in Memphis during the time that he was assassinated and all of the rioting had uh, consisted and came through. After uh, the assassination, there were uh, numerous amount of riots in every city in uh, the United States, except for uh, at that time, Robert Kennedy was speaking to an audience in Indianapolis, uh, which was uh, predominant, uh, uh, a great number of, of the individuals were black. And uh, Mr. Kennedy uh, spoke and told them that uh, Dr. Martin Luther King had been assassinated and they all got very loud. And um, he had to tell them he understood how they felt because a few years prior, uh, his brother, uh, President Robert Kennedy had been assassinated. So he knew exactly how uh, members in the audience was feeling. So at that time, he had a speech uh, that he told everybody uh, about that was uh, uh, predominantly one of his uh, greatest speeches and it went, went like this. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another and filling up justice toward those who still suffer within our country. And he's basically telling everybody, you know, it's not uh, um, right to be picking up and, and, and rioting and, and harming one another when we should be uniting as brothers and sisters, when we should be uh, basically uh, trying to get together to heal the country. You know about all of the uh, things that's going on in the world today, and we are a portion of that. And as a young group that's, that's listening to all these speeches that are being said by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., by uh, uh, Robert Kennedy, uh, his brother John Kennedy, uh, you need to take all these things to heart. You know, my 22 years in the Marine Corps, I fought hard for that. For all of you to have the right for the freedom of speech, the freedom to live, to do what you want to do. And Dr. Martin Luther King, one of his speeches came uh, where it says the chains of discrimination and the manacles of segregation. It should be self-evident that all men and women are created equal. People should not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the context of their character. Let freedom ring in this country is to become a great nation one day. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last, and that we is for everybody, not just for one specific race, not for just one specific individual, but for everybody. Dignity and health is life's most persistent and urgent question, and the question should be, what are you doing for others? Not just for yourself, but for others. Did you do something for somebody else yesterday? And would you plan to do something for somebody tomorrow? My overall, uh, 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 concept of all of this is if peace means keeping my mouth shut in the midst of injustice and evil then I don't want peace if peace means a willingness to be exploited economically dominated politically humanly hum, humiliated and segregated then I don't want peace so if you want peace you are the young the, the young group for tomorrow you are our future so it's very imperative that you learn, okay? You learn from our mistakes, okay? So that you don't make the exact same mistakes. So you can make this a better world. People have died for you to have that right to do that. Don't always look at picking up arms or beating up somebody or harming somebody to make your right right, okay? Look at either doing the pen or by mouth, all right? So I hopefully that this helps your class and uh, I know it helps my grandson Eric greatly there, and I, I wish all of you the best in the world there. Thank you very much. Yes.